Welcome back, everybody. In our last tutorial, we set up our project to use a panel, and we also started importing our images. And we set up our images in Photoshop. Um, if you need a refresher in that, there would be a link in the bottom, or there'll be a link up here. And you can go back and you can look at that. Now that we've imported the images that, that we're going to use for our main page, um, we're going to go ahead and start setting those up in Unity and getting them ready for the app. First thing we do is let's go ahead. We're going to do the same thing for all the images. Um, be a little variation, but just follow along. Um, it'll make sense as we go. So we're going to go ahead and we'll go ahead and make this first image active. We're going to click on it. We're going to go over here to the top, and we're going to make this where it says Sprite Mode right here. We're going to pull that down and call. We're going to make it a multiple. And then I'm going to go here. And we, we can change the max size later uh, because I, if, but if we look here, the size is 1024 by 1024. So I'm going to make the max size be 1024 because that's what that one is. Okay. You can leave everything. I'm going to compress it. I'm going to use uh, high quality because I want to keep as much of the quality of the original image as I can. And once you've done those things, we're going to hit apply. It may take it a second to apply. When it does, then you'll have this. Now we can go to this. We can go right here and click on Sprite Editor. Let me go ahead and make this guy bigger for you so you can see. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pull this down. What you do is you hold the Sprite Editor, and I can just make it part of one of these windows here. That way I can go back between, back and forth. I'm going to zoom in a bit here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to kind of cut out of the piece of this image because this whole square is our image and I'm just going to cut out the piece that we really need so I want to start here kind of do that and then we can adjust it just a bit so we can bring it up to the bottom it's kind of hard to see because there it's white text but uh, but you can kind of see where it goes and bring uh oh I'm not bringing them so let's go back so what I want to do now is I want to kind of cut out this piece so what I'll do is I'll bring this down so I'm going to go back just to kind of walk you through what I just did. So you're going to hold down your mouse button and then drag it down to kind of cover all of that. Okay. And the next thing we can do is we can try to, we want to bring that in as tight as possible. So I'm holding down my, my mouse button and I'm dragging this whole thing up and you make sure you're dragging the blue. If you don't, you're just dragging the green and you'll, if you, if it happens to you, you'll see it and you'll understand. But right now just make sure that you're bringing all this down crunch it down as much as you can that looks pretty good so now that I've done that I am going to um, you can click out out of it and then we're so I just clicked down here you can click anywhere as long as you get this message here unapplied import settings you want to apply that and now we know if we look down here in our project panel we can see that we now have this image and you can see over here it's cut out look down the bottom right you can see that it, that's what it cut out it's a little pixelated but if we had better quality images it would not be as pixelated but for the purpose of this tutorial I think this is fine okay so we've done one now let's do the other one so what I like to do I have a bunch of um, images that I've imported I like to go ahead and I'm gonna click here and then I'm going to control click oh, I'm sorry command click so if you have a bunch of images, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and uh, pick more than one at a time. So if we hit here and then shift, uh, hold down the shift button, we can see how I got all four of those. And then I can go over here to my inspector and I can pull down um, and make these multiple and I can change all of them with one, one setting. Um, now the max size might be different because some of these might have different sizes. So I'll just do the multiple thing at once and then hit apply. And give it a second but it's really important when you go through and you're doing the uh, the max size part of your sprite that you don't want it to be bigger than your image right so for instance I'm now I'm gonna do the home screen one I'm gonna go over here we already changed it to multiple I'm gonna go down here and if you look here it says 2048 by 2048 so let's the max size is already 2048 so let's leave it at that we're gonna compress at a high quality and we're going to apply. All right. So we got this. If you look right here, this is a 2.0 uh, megabytes. Now, if you 
changed it so you could make the max size be 2048 and apply and it reduced it to a half a megabyte, right? So that's one thing you do if you start getting where your app is much bigger than it should be. Um, after you build it, this is one of the things that you can change. You can go down and change it. But for now, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna leave it for 2048 and hit apply. So it can still use that kind of crunch algorithm, right? Uh, this this is a really handy tool again that I mentioned in the last video is if you have images that are really really high quality because uh, the more high quality they are the bigger they are right so this is a really good tool to use to get all of these images down and to make it uh, a lot more manageable so let's go let's do our next screen and do the same thing and you'll just go through and you'll do it for each one of these guys this one is a 2048 as well going to apply Gonna do this one. It's a 2048, high quality, multiple. We're gonna apply, and then our hamburger menu is a lot smaller, right? So we can we can make this one a lot smaller. So we'll go here. This one is a 512 by 512. So we're gonna make the max size of this be a 512, high quality, and we're going to apply that one as well. Okay. So now we've got these. Now let's go back to the sprite editor. Make sure you have your sprite editor checked here. Again, if you don't have it, you can click on the image here. You can go over here and you can click on sprite editor. That's how you bring that up. Now we're going to do the same thing that we did in the other one. Now, one thing I will I will say, um, this, it'd be more the case I think on these two, but we can bring this if you have a bunch of images that are the same size you can record the numbers here so let's go ahead and let's bring that in and you can always zoom in if you want to make sure so I'm just using my mouse wheel I'm zooming in and then I can make sure to get it on the edge as close as possible and I, sometimes I like to come in just a tad to make sure that I'm not gonna you know show any of that transparency later just come in just a tad we'll do the same thing over here and we'll come down to the same uh oh we'll come down and we'll do the same thing there as well now if you had say you had two or three images that uh, were the same size as this one what I do is I record this position number because this position is a position of like the crop that you're seeing I would record that number and that way you can just type that in because you want them all to have the same kind of crop right but for now we'll just leave it as that looks like we got that one set I'm gonna click off the editor I'm gonna hit apply and let the wheel turn and now we know it worked because we can pull that out there in my project panel and we can look at the we can click on that part of the image and over here is what that's gonna look like now so it just cuts out the piece that we need from that square and we're going to do the same thing here. I'm going to pull it over as close as I can. Maybe I'll cut some off. And again, you can zoom in to really look at it like, like so. All right? Do the same thing at the top here. Bring that down. Do the same thing at the bottom. Bring that up. Click off side. Apply. Okay. Again, double check it everything looks good now we're going to do this one so we're going to come over I'm going to drag the box out I'm going to come in just a tad come over come up and come back over here click off screen we're going to apply and then I'm going to do the same thing on my hamburger menu okay it's kind of hard to see but if I zoom in you might be able to see it we're going to get as close to these as possible that's about right get here come down and then come up that's about right click off apply all right and we know that we've got it we can pull this out and look at it there we go so that's how you get your images ready now um, you can in practice have more than one image on a background so say you wanted to have a um, you know instead of 2048 let's say that you wanted these to be a 4096 right so you say you had a 4096 background a big square background you could put 
uh, a few images on there, and then in the sprite editor, you can cut those out and then use those cutouts as needed. Um, but this is what, what I just showed you is how I usually do it for my mobile applications. So yeah, there you go. Um, that's that was a really short tutorial. Uh, I just wanted to kind of show you how we do these, how we cut these out. So in the next tutorial, we're going to uh, take these that we've edited in the sprite editor and we're going to start putting them on our screen. And then once we get them adjusted on the screen, then we'll start adding some functionality to it. OK, uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning into this one. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks. Mm -hmm.